everybody, welcome to Gun Types and Life Gripes. I am your host. Today I'm reviewing four of the most common and most popular pistol lights on the market. Let's get into it. Pistol lights I'll be reviewing today are the TLR7A, the TLR1HL, the Surefire X300 Ultra Bravo version, and the Surefire X300 Turbo Bravo version. Overhead shot please for a closer look. These are what the four pistol lights look by each other. As you can see, the TLR7A is very small compared to these full size lights, the X300 Ultra, the Turbo. And I would guess I would call this one a compact version light of a TLR1 HL. So the first light I'll be reviewing is the, the TLR7A. TLR7A comes like this as shown. They made this model because the old model, I'll picture it here, had these side switches that it was hard to activate while it was on your light. It also comes with different keys, so that way you can attach it to any gun you need. The specs on this are 500 lumens. It runs approximately 1.5 hours, and the max candela is 5,000. That's how you activate it. The TLR1 HL. It comes with different keys. There's also there's uh, different keys for like Glock, Sig. I have this one, this key mounted on there because it goes well with my X Compact Sig. It is thumb screwed. It is also you have if you flip it down for uh, constant on, and then flip it down this way for momentary. It's thumb activated. The specs on this one by the website, according to the website, is 1,000 lumens. 1.5 hours of runtime and about 20,000 candela. The next light I'll be reviewing is the Surefire X300 Ultra Bravo. This is the thumb screw model. They also make an alpha model which allegedly is specific for Glock. Okay. The specs on this one according to the website are 1,000 lumens, 1.25 hours of runtime. 11,300 candela. If you want to do momentary, you push in and then constant on, you flip up and down. And last but not least, the newest pistol light on the market is the Surefire X300 Turbo Bravo model. Once again, a thumb screw model. The specs according to the website are 650 lumens, 1.5 hours of runtime and 66,000 candela. The Streamlight TLR7A is a micro light. It's probably the most popular micro light on the market. I do see a lot of people using this on a compact gun, which I do think this light is more for a subcompact like the one shown here. So here's my SIG 365X macro. Okay, I got the tactive rail on it, and I like this rail because it removes that underbite that the TLR sub gives when you're using it. As you guys can see, we're clear and safe. So it's an easy mounting procedure. You just attach it through here, and the thumb screw tightens here. Okay, so this is what it looks like attached. You could use this light on a different type of weapon, such as uh, maybe the SIG Compact or X Compact, or you could use it on maybe a Glock 19. I prefer it to be on these micro compact guns, such as the SIG 365XL, or the Glock 48, or the 43X, or maybe even the Hellcat. So to activate this light, you can either press down with if you're left or right handed, you can use your shooter finger, right? So you hold it down for momentary and then you press down real quick for a constant on. I really like this light compared to the old one where it was a button press right here. You really had to get in there to index it. This one, when you have the master grip, you can just activate it like that, hold it down while you're doing your thing. All right, so next we'll be reviewing the TLR1 HL. This is the gun. This is the gun I put it on. This is a Sig P3 
P320 with a X compact grip. As you can see, we're clear and safe. Nothing in there. Once again, this is a thumb screw light. Easily attached right here. I did have to do some modifications to get this light to work, but I do believe that this light, as I stated earlier, is a compact light. And I think it works best for compact guns. Okay. This light has the best switches on the market, in my opinion. Um, except the fact that the specs are a little bit off. Some people like to say this is 800 lumens and whatnot. I don't really know. Uh, I just know it's a good performing light. As I stated earlier, when I have my master grip, I can use push it down with my opposite support hand for momentary. And or I could flip it up, flip it down with the other side. The right side is the clicky part for constant on. That is the TLR1HL. Next, we're gonna talk about the Surefire X300 series. I'm only gonna mount one of them because they do mount the same. However, the performance difference is both on is different on both of them. So this gun is clear and safe. Boom. Alright, so I'll be mounting my turbo version. Okay. As I stated earlier, it's a thumb screw mount. They're pretty simple. I like these better than the ultra version. Uh, like I said, I think they have like a universal key, a 1913 key. However, I know I've seen people use this on like staccato. Uh, like I said, I had to get this on my CZ P10F. Uh, when you're running the master grip, as I stated earlier, you press in for momentary and then you flip down for constant on. Uh, this light in particular has the worst switches on the market in my opinion. They're very stiff and it's very hard to activate sometimes. So you kind of really need to manipulate your grip a little bit differently to get this part. But once you figure it out, it's pretty easy. Uh, this is the newest light that Surefire made because everybody wants high candela off of everything for positive identification. However, I believe they both have their situation. In this performance so video. This first light is the TLR7A, and it's what it would look like in an open concept house. As you can tell, it is definitely a lower lumen. You can uh, see there's no definite hot spot, but your PID inside of the house would be good. The spill is pretty good, so you can see uh, corner to corner. I'm using this opening as a middle point. So you could get a good positive identification on this light. This next light is the TLR1 HL, 1000 lumens. As you can see, there's a definitely a definite hot, better hot spot here. Uh, the spill, as well as the flood looks pretty decent. You can kind of get the door if you're setting at the middle. Let's say you're trying to clear your house or there's something in here that you're trying to look at. You could definitely use this light and get pretty good identification on what's to your left and right. So this is the TLR1 HL inside of an open concept house. This next light is the Surefire X300 Ultra 1000 lumens. As you can see, way better spill and flood. Hotspot is not so pronounced, but this is definitely what I would use in type of a Pistol mounted uh, room clearing, unless your hallway is super long. Uh, this is better for me because you can definitely get more of a 180 view of what's going on with this light. So this is the Surefire X300 Ultra. So this is the Surefire X300 Turbo with 660 lumens. This is more of a candela, a candela light. However, I'll show you candela outside. So this is what we're getting in here. As you can clearly see, there's more of a definite hotspot so you can get better PID. If you're in a very large home and you need to look down the hallway, I would use this one. You can tell that the spill and the flood isn't too bad. You can kind of see what's going on if you move it, but due to that monster candela, you can't really get really good accuracy on your positive identification to your left and right. So this is the Surefire X300 Turbo. So for this shot, we will be testing the throw slash candela of each light. This is the TLR7A 
which is according to the spec sheet 5000 candela max with a fresh battery here we go so that edge of my fence right there is roughly 15 yards and as you can tell you don't get a definite hot spot so you can't really even tell the difference between the corner of where the wooden fence goes and the chain link fence but you do get a lot of uh, lighting up the field as you would say for the TLR 7A. This next light is the TLR 1 HL which is rated at 20,000 candela according to spec. On this shot right here you could definitely get a better view of what the fence and the chain link fence is doing. So this is about 15 yards. It's very bright. I like this color to the eye more. That is the TLR1 HO. This is the Surefire X300 Ultra, which according to spec, this is 11,300 candela with two CR123 batteries. Again, the hot spot on this one is not very pronounced. So if you were to use this on an outside situation, I would, the camera doesn't do justice of my, of my eye, but you do, can, you can get positive identification about 15 yards if someone is wheeling something. And the flood and the spill is very good on this one. So if you need to check your left to right limits, you could definitely do that with the Surefire X300 Ultra. Okay, so this is the Surefire X300 Turbo model, which according to spec is 66,000 candela. So as you can see on this one, you could definitely get better positive identification at 15 yards. I think the flood is roughly pretty good on this one. You can uh, see just enough that you need to. Excuse my dog. And this is definitely the light I would use for positive identification. This is the Surefire X300 Turbo. Now last but not least, price point, reliability, and the winner. The TLR7A, brand new, depending on black or FDE, you can get it for $125 to $150. You can find them used online for roughly $100 to $120. Uh, the reason this is a little bit more expensive used is because the availability of these lights. Everybody really likes these lights for their subcompact and their micro type guns. The TLR1 HL, you can find these brand new for $120 to upwards to $180, depending on FDE and black. I've seen the black models go used online for a hundred dollars uh, average and uh, Streamlight has awesome customer service really good the durability are, is really good on these two it started off as the TLR1 and now we're here at the high lumen model now next you got the surefire boys everybody loves surefire um, however their name does come with a lot of reliability and it's unmatched. It's been used on military things. I'm sure law enforcement uses it. But you're gonna pay. You're gonna pay quite a pretty penny. So roughly, these are about two seventy five to three hundred fifty dollars, depending on FDE, turbo, whatever, alpha model. Uh, you can find these used. I've seen the ultras go used for two hundred dollars to two twenty. The turbos, due to the lack of availability, is still roughly two seventy five to three hundred bucks. Um, but hey, you're getting a Surefire. That's what's good about it. Now, which one would I choose out of these four lights as one light? If I can only have one light, which one would I choose? And that light would be the TLR One HL. Good price point, they're everywhere, people have them. Activation is great. You can use them on your average compact gun, your SIG P320, your Glock 19. You can use them all the way up to a CZ P10F or Glock 17. Uh, that's what I use it for. Uh, I use it for my, I use it for a CZ P10F if I could, but I rock a Surefire obviously because I have all of them. 
And, uh, but on my wife's gun, I use this as a SIG P320 X Compact. So there it is, the winner, clear cut, hands down, best starter light is the TLR1 HL. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please like, comment, subscribe, share, and we'll catch you guys later.